I don't kink shame, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to After All, the show where I show you a few things a week that could be fundamental, fun, or anything really, that's why I picked the title. The week you're about to see is the 21st week of this project, and I really can't wait for you to see this. This spanned from May the 21st to May the 27th, and uh, this this is what happened. I'm so happy with this week. <laughs> Alright, morning everyone. Start to week 21, it's Monday. This is uh, probably the start to one of the busiest weeks uh, I will ever have. I'm going to go on a walk for about an hour-ish. Listening to one of the two podcasts that we recorded last night with Bandwidth, the latter recording was definitely the best one. But yeah, I'm going to be listening through to them, to just seeing what improvements we need, and... Uh, Got a banana. I'm currently sat on one of these little swing things because I just need to sit down. This podcast that I've been listening to is actually perfect. We've got the structure completely fine. Um, it's genuinely fun. You know, I really enjoy how it is. Praise bandwidth for keeping it going. Uh, I just got back from my walk. Uh, set up at half nine. It is now almost half eleven. So instead of walking for just an hour, I ended up walking for almost two. I definitely think that's good, but it's also a reason why I'm not doing it every day, I'm doing it every two days, because otherwise I will tire myself out. You know, the resulting thing from this two hour walk is not only am I feeling, you know, a little bit more revitalized, but I've got a little bit of a stinging migraine in the back of my eyes, which is not good. It's really helpful to have another phone here just so you can check exactly what time it is. Good, I'm gonna go for a nap. Hello. All right, this is just, this is not on, all right? The one Swedish fish that I get in this packet of sweets, and it's already broken. Okay, what kind of monstrosity is this? If this is a cow, I'm afraid for cows. Blow in. I'd rather not. I'd rather not blow into a long stick. My plan at the moment, though, is to quite literally just rush and try and get some form of work in progress version of a turbo punch animated up, because I just, I just want to show Tom something. Ah, I've also decided that I'm not going to be shaving uh, this part of my beard until the day before I go uh, because I would like to have some kind of beard off with Tom, even though he will definitely win on all accounts ever. So, uh, I'm working on some storyboards at the moment. I'm going to be writing up some angles and stuff. Should I already go for a second? For my gun? Yeah. Alright. What, what for? Video. I've got, I'm doing a base outline first, and then I'm doing like, uh, you know, doing the colors and stuff, and then I'm gonna cartoonify it. So I'm gonna make everything look a bit more simpler, I'm gonna make things look a bit more bubbly and bouncy, and, uh, and stuff like that. But yeah, this is a thing I'm currently doing, and I'm gonna show it MCM, because that might be good. Oh, I have this weird feeling of like, it's like a weird nostalgic feeling. Harry, I found you. What the fuck do you want? Didn't you technically like third party steal your content there? There's no, really? po no point in watching that video now. They've already got like a version of it there. <laughs> You've ripped off yourself, Kai. <laughs> How do we not die in Othel and Harry? We're, we're brave heroes. I uh, guess. That's, that's the reason we've uh... I don't fucking know. Why, why are you asking me? Right, so I definitely have missed that train. Kai and I uh, like, just, just felt some time. We were having a conversation about like how shoulders are technically <laughs> like... I mean, it's the same thing as like... <laughs> what did you call it before? <laughs> What's happening to the train thing? <laughs> Stop! Hot bottom, I called it. Yeah. I'm gonna grab my. We should go down there. You, you, you keep going, Harry. Just. Let's stop me shoot it. Hey, hey, Harry. <laughs> Uh, oh, my shoe's still broke. Then it wants us to get a base. Got myself this hat. I can take the blue ribbon off of my top hat and put it on this. Whatever you do, don't knock it over. Bye, Nan! Watched a bit of Scott Pilgrim, because that's always a nice little film to watch. Watched Fantastic Mr. Fox and a bunch of Transformers stuff as well. I'm on my way to, the, to West Ham, I believe. I need to get myself an oyster card and top that up first. Meet up with Anya, drop my bags off, then we'll all be good. <laughs> so it's the morning of the con. I don't want to keep this going too much, but I am quite proud of how well my phone is performing in the dark. Um, coming back from Anya's hotel was kind of difficult. The westbound thing was just completely closed because of how early it was. So I'm having to wait for a bunch of buses. 
I'm waiting for the N7 now to take me to somewhere and then I've got to get a 105 which takes me to Greenford. I've been awake for almost 24 hours. This is not good. Oh my God. Ah! It's dash two. Oh, well, it is morning at a reasonable time. Feel okay, but I guarantee later on I will not. Oh no. Yourself a duck. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, John. John is John is worth the time. We've got we've got a lot of Deadpool's here. His name is John. Hi, John. <laughs> My God, this place is absolutely huge. This is this is Brid times a thousand. Thank you very much. It's got a print of Charlie. It's really yeah. nice. So I finally found Tom. Hello, I'm here. It's not that hard to find me. I, I literally stand still for three days straight. <laughs> well, I usually sit down for many, many, many hours. So yes, that's that's the animator's curse. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it would be brilliant if you could uh, sign this. So For me, you yeah. shouldn't have. You could also hold this duck as well. His name is John. <laughs> I like John the duck. John the duck is my friend. <laughs> You're undressing. No. Whoa. I am indeed. Beard and all. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was gonna do a beard off, but yours is far better than mine. Ah, uh, years of years of practice. Honestly, I'm still jealous of many of the men here whose beards and women whose beards just Definitely. just outshine mine tenfold. Hi. And uh, you, you do pretty good? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I'm existing. Oh, yeah. So I stood there like a sort of weird sort of Zelda shop salesman, <laughs> just sort of looping my same animation until somebody comes over. So yeah, I, I had a mask on, but I took it off because I need to breathe. Oh. You know, I need to, like, I'm breathing Why are you wearing a mask when you can't breathe? I don't know. I'm Is it fun? Yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> I don't kink shame, it's fine. <laughs> oh, hey, John. John. John the little duck, and he does have quite nice lips. He does have nice lips. <laughs> awesome, thank cool. you very much. No worries, yeah. man. Very well, that was amazing. Um, but what I'm going to do now is is uh, just going to sort of change. Yeah. yeah. Right. Summer suit sorted. Which hat dragon would fit in? Perfect. It's too big for him. Nobody makes well, things in John's size. We now have pictures of John trying on a hat, so we, yeah. are, we are on the winning streak there. Nobody makes anything for John. <laughs> OK. I mean, get so many wishes with these things. It's just alcohol. What? What's going on? Oh my God! Whoa! It's like 3D. Let's go and do things. <laughs> Best song. So it's the second day of MCM. Really, really looking forward to today. I was talking to Ben, who you may know as One Chop. I was talking to him about like how, you know, me, me going to meet these people and stuff and meeting him as well, it just didn't feel like reality because with me living up north, I believe like a, a good 200 miles away from here, you know, there's not really much to do. And my dad says this a lot, is that if I were to move up to Leeds, there'd be a lot more stuff to do. There'd be a lot more job opportunities and stuff. It just doesn't feel like reality, you know, but then when, when it kind of clicked, that I'm here, this is real, these are real people. All of my kind of doubts and worries and, and stuff just kind of slipped to the side. I'm gonna try not to burn this time or melt, uh, which is why I'm wearing half and half of these costumes. That is a lot of people. Oh no, this is much worse. I don't know whether it's because, you know, I've already been through this yesterday, but just all this just seemed to go by so much quicker now. Low blow, Star Lord, low blow. <laughs> it just is not behaving. Just heading up to Tesco because, I mean, it, it's what, like a two, three minute walk away, and I'd rather not spend 20 to 25 minutes in a queue trying to go to Subway in which they will probably charge me like a tenner just to get something I could get for 2.50 back home. Brilliant thing to having a top hat is that it doubles as a bag so that's kind of helpful. And now Sammy Paul out of context. I'm just gonna say come. Okay three two one. Come. <laughs> There we go. That was brilliant, thank yeah. you. Alright, so I found Eddie and he also has the duck. His name is John. Oh, know. right, okay. So weirdly shaped, why? Yeah, th this is definitely the new watching the grass grow. No, <laughs> he's, he's just gonna, he's just gonna watch. <laughs> <laughs> just watching. 
Oh, he's got a little stand. Oh, yes, I watch. He has a he has a witness stand. I'm gonna watch you burn. <laughs> Goodbye, Anya. Goodbye, Frenda. Oh, we're at bank. Hello. Well, I really enjoyed this trip to London. Uh, I've got to go back tomorrow, obviously, because you know trains. It's been really good. You know, I'm at the idols. I conquered some fears, some anxieties, and stuff of actually going and meeting particular people, and uh, it was really, really nice. And also, John the Duck got a lot of exposure, so that makes me extra happy. Uh, I am going to rush to get home because I don't know if you can see all of this happening. If it even shows up, there's lots of lightning happening right now. Rather not get struck by it. In fact, we found another ducky. He's a little ducky. Oh, John's looking a bit rugged. She's considerably bigger, but it's okay, it's okay. It's She's fine. not judgmental. Oi. Hello. Jesus, you have lasers. So I remember quavers turning into nappy bags, but... What? I've never had a cold drink from Costa before, but this mango thing is so nice. <laughs> this Solara is quite interesting. Yeah, after having that mango thing that I just, I want, I wanted a Solera. I have, this is another one of those things that I just haven't had in years. <laughs> now you've had them again and you're like, oh, Lord. Yes. Goodbye, cat. You know what, I'm glad that I only get Megabus not that frequently because I am literally dripping, dripping with sweat. Uh, I had to run all the way here thinking thinking I had 10 minutes to spare and the bus left early. So, and then, you know, I, I booked the ticket for like three quid. To get a ticket back now is uh, 27 pounds. Luckily, I have relatives who will help out with this. Um, so thank you. 27 quid. We managed to get tickets sorted. It was one hell of a ticket getting procedure. Uh, but yeah. <coughs> Ready to go home, and I will be burning that ticket when I get home, just out of spite. Oh my god. I don't even believe in God, but that is still a saying I'm going to be saying, because that's the saying that I have said. Right, well, this week has been incredibly, incredibly fun. Productive, I've been doing things. I went to London, and I finally met Tom. Uh, one of my biggest kind of hopes and stuff is to do a crossover with Tom. My God, thank you so much, Anya, by the way. She helped me with everything through MCM and I'm really, really thankful for that. So uh, those are the fundamentals is that MCM was good. First massive con, it is huge. I'm not really gonna be able to go down in October because of, uh, you know, if this holiday goes along and also just travel and money and stuff like that. Cause I don't, I can't really predict the future that well uh, when I don't have all the information. Finally got Sammy Paul, my little word of day project, um, which I may or may not have referenced a couple of times, um, because it's inspired by him. But yeah, really, really massive thanks to Anya and uh, her friend Callum, who was brilliant. You're all brilliant, really. Uh, really cool to meet other people as well, like um, like Neil and Paul and that again from the UK cosplay community. That is such a such a brilliant community to be a part of. I mean, this wouldn't have even happened if I hadn't have gotten out of that little bubble and talked to people. Probably one of the biggest and most satisfying weeks I think I've had. If you have enjoyed this series and this episode, you can subscribe to Kaipai 2 where I'm gonna be putting this up. I'm also gonna be putting up some Penny for Thought things as well as some gaming stuff when I get around to that. I'm genuinely just having a massive break now. You can also subscribe to uh, Kaipai uh, 1 where I do my animations and stuff. A fun little fact, um, I actually showed Tom the little kind of scrappy version of uh, what the Turbo Punch animators are gonna look like. <laughs> You could barely hear it because Adobe Flash basically just kind of crumples up the audio and the fact that we were in a convention. But it's really nice to know that he knows of my work, especially Equinox Pictures because I don't share that out to many people. Fun little segue. You can also subscribe to Equinox Pictures for edits if you like. I feel like I'm missing one out. Oh yeah, uh, and you can like the Facebook page for After as well because it goes up on there. So yeah, hope you all have had a brilliant week yourself and hope you have a brilliant commencing week. And uh, without further ado, I will see you in the next episode of Afdor. Goodbye. Hello, Jesus. Hello.